Hi everyone, Radhe Radhe. So, um, oh my goodness, I got <laughs> massively triggered today. I mean, I, I was very excited until a few minutes ago when I read these things. Okay, so let me start from the beginning. I went to the Chinmaya Mission today again, and I, this time I managed to get the book. Um, it was the Gita. The first, so the way uh, the Gita is sold in the Chinmaya Mission is they don't have one big book. They sell different chapters, bo different books for different chapters. So I got the book, the first and the second chapter have one book and I got that one and uh, I was very very excited I was like yay I'm going to get another perspective of the Gita and I'm going to be able to you know see what the Chinmay mission is all about um, and then I came home and I, I was reading it just now and I read the explanation, detailed explanation of the thing. So the actual words also have slightly different meanings, although, I mean, it's mostly the same. I will, I'll, I'll talk about that. But the overall thing, my goodness, so I have had this thing, like whenever people talk about the Gita, people love to bash on Arjun. And I come from the personal development world. I come from the wor a world where we all consider ourselves perfect souls. So all, the, all that thing that is talked in the Gita about we are perfect souls and we have dust on the mirror and all that analogy that we have that our mirror is perfect and it's the dust that causes that. The personal growth world puts it from day one, from minute one, into our hearts and into our minds that we are perfect. We are absolutely perfect the way we are, wherever we are on our journey, we are perfect. And it is just a matter of un uncovering those layers of fear, which what they, what the um, the uh, Gita world, what the Hindu world calls the dust on the mirror, uh, in the personal growth world, we call fear on on love, right? Like we we are pure love, we our souls are pure love, and we are covered with fear. So we're just like unraveling, like one layer of fear after the other through our work, through the inner work that we're doing. And we are all perfect. And we do not bash on ourselves or anybody else. That's just an absolute no. We do not bash on anyone. And uh, I've heard everybody, like even in the ISKCON world, people do bash on Arjun. But like in, in the so far, nobody has bashed on Arjun. Prabhupada and Chaitanya Charan Prabhu have, have not really so far bashed on Arjun um, for that. I think they start doing that a little bit later, but not to this extent. I want to read out some things here. This was just so insane for me. I don't know how much longer I'll be able to read this book if they keep bashing on Arjun like that. Um, they they said that uh, the, the next line was about pity. So he was he was talking about that that he uh, Sanjay glorifies pity in Arjun, and it's a uh, uh, there's a great tendency to glorify one's own weakness with some convenient angelic name and divine pose, such as a rich man's vanity misnamed as charity when he builds a temple in his own name. Uh, with the secret aim of immortalizing himself. And here also we find the feeling of desperation that comes in Arjun's mind due to his, the, the complete shattering of his mental equilibrium. Um, Arjun has had a long life of mental repressions, which had created an infinite... Uh, yeah, so his... Uh, okay, the... Yeah, we shall discover the various symptoms of this neurotic condition in him and his hysterical blabbering, which are typical of such a mental patient. So he's calling him a mental patient. He's calling him, he's saying hysterical blabbering. He's calling him neurotical condition and uh, he's calling him uh, that the that Krishna cure was given to this Arjun disease. My goodness. I mean, if Arjun had this, if Arjun was unstable, if Arjun was a mental patient and neurotic and hysterical blabbering, what, what would I be? Like, what would what would human beings, normal human beings like me be? It's insane. It's insane. It's so, so harsh. Um, I, I disagree with it completely. I believe Arjun was a human being. Obviously, he was a human being and he had human problems. It wasn't mental patient hysterical kind of problems. It was regular human problems and his human problems were lower, much lower extent than my human problems would be. So I'm not going to start calling myself a men mental patient and saying that I'm hysterical or I'm a lunatic or a whatever. I have a disease like I'm not going to gaslight myself like that and just <laughs> I, no, I'm a human 
being, I, I have weaknesses, I have fear, and I'm working through those. And that's it. The, the, this whole process of the Gita is God's gift to us so that we can work through the fears that we have, so that we can do this inner work, so that we can get to God, so that we can access the spiritual realm, so that we can remember our connection with God and how our love for God and our love from God and our all of that, our acceptance for God and from God. That's the whole point of the Gita, I think. That's the whole point of personal growth, of spiritual growth, of all of that, is to build our, rebuild our connection with God that we have forgotten. Ah, okay. <laughs> so let's go to this thing. So the, the, the first two sections are kind of connected to the previous ones. That's why on the um, Srila Prabhupada's website and Chaitanya Charan Prabhu's website, they're together. And then the, these next two parts are connected to the next two parts. So it's a little bit mixed up here, but I'll try my level best to. I'm just going to stick to verse 27 as it is here, and I'll try my level best to explain it uh, as best in, in a way that's understandable. Okay, and my volume was still very loud, even though I thought I spoke, I sang softly last time. So I'm going to sing even more softly and see if that works, because uh, the uh, sound of the laptop playing or the sound of the music is not being picked up. The sound of my voice is picked up only. So even though the music is playing very loud when when I'm singing it, but the recording does not pick it up. So it's a little um, okay. So let's. Um, play that. Verse 27 is what we're going to be playing. Putran Pautran Sakhim Stata Sarvadev Chaiva Sena Yoru Vayorapi Tan Samiksha Sakaunte Yaha Sarvan Bandhu Navasthetan Okay. So, verse 26 was saying, Tatru Paschat Titan Parthaha, there from there, Partha, who is the son, who's Arjun, uh, when he could see while he was standing there, he could see, and then he listed. He could see his fathers and uh, grandfathers, he could see his teachers, uh, Matulan maternal uncles, brothers, sons, grandsons, friends also. And then this is where these are the two new lines from this verse, chapter uh, verse 27 is Shwashuran. So Sasur is father-in-law in Hindi. So Shwashuran, so fathers-in-law. Uh, Suhridas. So Suhridas is uh, Suhridash. Uh, is well wishers is listed as is uh, translated as well wishers here, and in the Chinmaya book it is translated as friends. Um, Chaiva is also um, here is also certainly and uh, here it's in the Chinmaya Mission book it's translated as um, let's see Ch and Eva also and also so it's not uh, also certainly but it's and also uh, which kind of feels more like and also yeah so father-in-laws, friends, and also, or something, whatever. Sena, your, uh, the two armies, uh, Uba, your both. So the army, both armies, Api, um, including. Um, so here also Api is slightly different. Api is, uh, what is it? Kante, Abandhan, also, uh, api is also. So here, api is including. So it's yeah. There are so many words for two also and <laughs> including. They're all very similar, and with so many different words. I'm sure there is some um, thing in them that is clear. So okay. So the full translation of the previous verse and this verse is: From there, Arjun could see within the midst of the armies of both parties. Uh, that is the new part here. Senayor Ubhayorapi, like. Uh, in between both armies, his fathers, grandfathers, teachers, maternal uncles, brothers, sons, grandsons, um, friends. This was all previous verse, and this verse is, and also his fathers-in-law and well-wishers. So, 
yeah, I guess well wishers here because friends is already there in the previous thing. So well wishers is that that's so that's the first two sections, and then the second two sections are here, which is tan samikshya sakanteya sarvan bandhu navasthitan. So tan all of them after seeing after he so son of kante is son of kunti, which is uh, Arjun. So after Arjun after he Arjun saw all of them. Then um, and then all kinds serve servo we have seen so many times it's all all his bandhun which is relatives and avastitan like situated arrayed um, there so then so the next one goes into the thing so but uh, the first part here is when the son of Kunti Arjun saw all these friends and relatives. And then the next part is when he's saying he's became overwhelmed with compassion and the, thus spoke. So that's verse 28, which we're not going to go verse by verse. But this is, yeah, so this is like um, the finishing of the previous thing where he saw his uh, grand, his uh, father-in-laws and well-wishers. And, uh, um, and then here, after seeing all of them, all his relatives, uh, situated, arranged or in, in their military formations. Yeah, so that's the verse, the <laughs> mix of the two. Yeah, okay. So that's it for today. Let us do verse 28. Is it 28 tomorrow? Verse, yeah, verse 28 tomorrow. Okay, uh, have a beautiful day, Radhe Radhe.